Tell us about the ranks of and the results of Vedantu. We have been producing tremendous results, a lot of top 100 results every year. We should talk about the journey of Daksh. Uh, he joined in 9th grade. So at the end of 9th, he was looking for something ahead of his class and he stumbled upon our Maths Olympiad program. Get inspired by these amazing results. Put your best effort forward. And I'm pretty sure with our blessings and your hard work and this Vedantu system and our, uh, our expertise, of preparing you, you will achieve your dreams. Namaskar parents, I am Anand Prakash, co-founder of Vedantu. And I am Pulkit, co-founder of Vedantu. So today we are really excited to share Vedantu's amazing results with all of you. A journey that all of you are part of. And now with me, I have our dear Anand sir, uh, who is the head of academics of Vedantu. And he has been mentoring students for last 18 years now. And he has mentored so many amazing children who have got top ranks in the country, including multiple All India rank once in IIT, in AIMS, and this year All India rank 15 as well. So I want to ask you, Anand sir, first of all, tell us about the ranks of and the results of Vedantu. So uh, if you look at the history of uh, Vedantu, for the past six years, we have been producing tremendous results, a lot of top 100 results every year. We have been mm. producing this top 100 result. This year, uh, we had a tremendous result because uh, in JE mains, 1400 students got qualified for uh, to write the JE advance and now approximately 400 plus students have already. So we have only collected few results. But so that is one in every three students yes. have qualified JE advance. JE advance. That's they amazing. That's amazing. With the highest uh, rank of 15 and then second rank as 92. All India rank uh, 92 and then 390, 511. So a lot of students in top 1000, lot of students in top 3000. So this is our result. So for all the parents and students who are watching this, you should be really proud of all these results. Why? Because you are part of the system and you should understand that this system is equipped and capable of taking you to the highest level to help you achieve your dreams if you follow the system religiously. And that is what these children did. So on this note, I think Anand, we should talk about the journey of Daksh who has got this rank 15, mm -hmm. right? And all the children and parents should know what it takes for someone to actually reach at this level. So Anand, you know, take us through the journey of Daksh. When did Daksh join us? What was he preparing for? Mm -hmm. How has his journey been? Mm -hmm. Tell me all this. So before I go ahead, uh, parents, I think uh, I would like to thank Daksh parent as well as all the parents who have been a part of Vedantu because you have put your trust and faith in Vedantu. And it is our responsibility to ensure that your kids perform at the highest level, whatever level it is. It is our duty without judging them. We have to actually push their limits and also uh, understand their potential and make them uh, or make sure that they reach their potential. So thank you for being an integral part of Vedantu. And we can all call you Vedans because clearly everyone who is part of Vedantu are Vedans for us. So thank you for being a part of this journey. So now, Pulkit, I would like to answer your question. Uh, so Daksh, uh, he joined in ninth grade. So at the end of ninth, he was looking for something ahead of his class and he stumbled upon our Maths Olympiad program. So he attended a camp, he liked the camp and then he thought of pursuing for JE Advance in 10th grade. So, so he was an Olympiad aspirant to begin with. Yes. Right? In class 9th and 10th. Yes. And he then joined our RM batch. RM batch, which is a three-year program for JE Advance. Got it. So he joined RM and uh, then his journey began at the end of 10th. As a lot of parents have this question, uh, his parent also had this question that uh, should we continue, should we move some, some other place? Because sometimes it happens that it's a new system, can we trust the system to produce that rank? So or I not? think so. some more context there. So Daksh family lives in Bangalore, mm -hmm. right? And at that time, we didn't have the offline program in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. So uh, the question was, should he continue with the online system or should he, should he look for some offline system, right? But Daksh was ultra clear. He wanted time for his sports. He wanted to balance between study and uh, sport. And therefore, he chose our online program at Bangalore because uh, clearly there was no offline for Vedantu. So he chose and uh, he continued for next three years, 10th, 11th, so 11th and 12th. And at Vedantu, we generally, uh, for any student, we have milestones. So at any level, we have milestones. So for Daksh, we created uh, two milestones, one for 11th, one for 12th. In 11th, we thought that he should clear any Olympiad. 
Hmm. So typically Olympiads, which is conducted by the national body like Homi Baba, and uh, he should clear Olympiad. So he not only cleared Olympiad, he <laughs> <laughs> not just cleared yes, he got a gold for India. Yes. So basically, we are all, yeah. So he actually uh, in astronomy Olympiad, he went to represent the country. And he got gold for the country at the end of 11. So we were very sure that the first checkbox is ticked and he's on the right path uh, because for every student, and this is very important message for uh, to all the parents, that for every student at Vedantu, we set a benchmark and we set mm -hmm. an internal target. We never talk to the uh, student or the parent, but internal benchmark is set for each and every student where we have to uh, take them and backward we work backwards. So for him, this was the first milestone. The second milestone happened in 12th. So we had that he should definitely clear physics Olympiad because his first love was physics mm. out of all the three subjects. He cleared the first stage, but he could not clear the second stage. And that was a setback for us because every time when we set something, we felt that a top 50 or a top 100 student should definitely clear both these stages. So he could not clear the second stage. Mm. And that was the time when I started actually looking at his marks. No, so that brings me to this question. So to all the parents, so I and Anand sir, we live in the same apartment complex and we usually walk in the night. And that was one night when, you know, I, I saw him very perturbed, very, very nervous, very anxious, right? And you discussed with me that he's not getting the kind of marks that you expect yes. him to get, right? So what happened? So typically, if you're targeting a top 50 rank, hmm. you expect the student to be very good at maths hmm. and he should be scoring approximately 90-95% in maths. So when I looked at his marks, he was scoring for J advanced test, he was scoring 75-80%. Now 75-80% is good but not for a uh, student who is uh, looking for top 100 rank or top mm. 50 rank specifically. So I, uh, that time I wanted to discuss with math sir, so then the sir, but uh, he was not there. So I just called Daksh and I told him that uh, beta from the next exam, uh, it's a three hour exam, uh, typically one paper is three hours, the another paper is again three hours. So I told him that either uh, you take more time in maths. So you take one and a half or two hours in maths, but I want you to score full marks in maths. At the end, I wanted to see whether his concepts are clear or he is not able to manage the time. That was my uh, point from this uh, thing. So from the next test, I was surprised. He started scoring full marks. Whoa. And suddenly Surendra's call came. Sir, what happened? I was not there. He's, he's scoring full marks in maths. Then uh, Daksh told him that, uh, you know, AP sir told me this, uh, that he has to, you have to score, you know, uh, take more time. Hmm. And then other teachers started calling me that he's not scoring chemistry mein marks, he's not scoring uh, physics mein marks. But I said that for the next 10 exam, I will not disturb him. I want to set a mindset that he can score full marks in maths. And since then, in every test that he has given, it's only one or two exams. In JE mains, he scored 95 out of 100. Uh, that was the only exam he could not score uh, full marks. But almost every test he scored, he almost scored full marks, even in JE advanced. So, yes. so this is very important for all of you to know. Daksh is the only student in the country who scored 120 out of 120 in JE advanced ka math paper. Only child in as the country. As far as we know. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, toppers have not scored uh, that. So 100% right? marks in maths in JE advanced is unheard of. This is what Daksh did. And see, the important message for all of you here is that, you know, we teachers are there to continuously look at the students, observe them, strategize with them, guide them, mentor them, right? And we want you and all the students to take as much help from the teachers as possible, right? And just continue to put in your hard work and your trust in them. So do whatever they say, blindly follow them. And that is what will take you to your dreams. Yes. So Anand. Now, see, Daksh definitely was a brilliant child mm -hmm. and the, the work that all of you, the academic team and all the teachers have put in behind Daksh actually took him to this amazing level, right? But not every child is of that level. So, what, are, what is your message to all the students to, to help them achieve their top potential, whatever that potential may be? See, most of the time we uh, try to get inspired by these top students which is good and we should definitely get inspired. But it is also very important to understand our potential and challenge that potential. So you can take help of anyone. You can take help of your teachers, your mentors, all around you to help you understand your potential. And first you should understand your potential. And then the second thing is you need to reach to your potential or challenge your potential. Because if let's say your potential is to get a top 50,000 rank, let's say. 
सो यू शुड चैलेंज दैट कि कैन यू गेट इन टू टॉप टेन थाउजेंड रैंक एंड पर्सनली इन द लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ मेंटरिंग स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव एक्चुअली सीन दैट इफ अ स्टूडेंट सिट्स विद द राइट मेंटर एंड द टीचर कैन बी मेंटर पेरेंट्स कैन बी द मेंटर सो इफ यू सिट विद दैम स्ट्रेटेजाइज प्रॉपरली सो इट्स नॉट ओनली अबाउट हार्ड वर्क इट्स ऑल्सो अबाउट स्ट्रेटेजाइजिंग फॉर द एग्जाम इट्स लाइक अ स्पोर्ट बिकॉज इन स्पोर्ट इट्स नॉट ओनली द प्लेयर्स duty to work on himself or herself it's also to understand the opponent what kind of opponent uh, he or she is uh, what kind of environment they are playing for example in tennis whether it's a clay court or it's a you know hard court you need to uh, grass court you need to understand that and accordingly the strategy should be developed so here according to the exam they should develop the strategy for example lot of students i have seen in the past that mm. they don't even qualify for je mains right nine only uh, 10% because the selection is 10% only 10% gets qualified and that qualifying marks is only 100 or 110 marks uh, typically 30 33% now to get that it is possible for every student the problem is if our potential is to actually get a 120 150 marks we try to fight for 300 in the process we don't even get 60 or 70 marks so we should strategize accordingly and strategy is very important in this and i think and you know so we will help you with that so the 12th if you are cl- in class 11th your 11th is just starting if in class 12th your 12th is just starting right so now is the time for you to just complete whatever work that we are giving you in the classes after the class whatever work is to be completed please complete that give all the tests as the year progresses you will see that you know we vedantu teachers and vedantu system will guide you for everything will help you with the strategy you will have multiple rounds of revision for j mains for j advanced right for your board exams as well so we are there the system is there to prepare you in every manner possible now is your time get inspired by these amazing results put your best effort forward and i am pretty sure with our blessings and your hard work and this vedantu system and our uh, our expertise of preparing you you will achieve your dreams right anand sir yeah so one uh, i think it's a very beautiful message to all the students one message i would like to add to the parents i think uh, whenever a child does something good we all are very happy and excited about mm. it but this two years or three years of the journey of a kid is full of stress uh he has to sacrifice a lot of things in life mm. the regular stuff which other kids are doing and therefore i think parents play a very integral role in that i think you should understand your kid support them as much as possible and try not to directly uh, you know talk about study or push them to their limits in fact include your teachers include their mentors because they also sometimes students confide with the teachers and therefore as a parent i would like you to visit our centers meet the teachers meet the mentors because they are the ones who is seeing the academic side of this kid and they will help you take a better decision at home so between students teachers and student if all the three comes these are three strong pillars if they work in equilibrium then magic happens yes so i think parents the best that you can do for your children is love them you know care for them support them understand that they are going through a very tough journey it's an arduous journey of next two years one year uh, and there's a lot of competition and a lot of distraction that they are grappling with together we can make them achieve their best and let's do this so our best wishes our blessings are always with all of you and next year will again be there with your children achieving the top results wish you all the very best tab tak ke liye namaskar